What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Mylotic, bringing you our week seven team builder for our battle against Ultra Player, coach of the West Virginia Miniors. He's got a brand new logo this season, and if you guys know Josh, you guys know that we paralyze him a lot. And um, I kind of made it a point of emphasis to not bring T Wave this week. Um, not because it wasn't like the best thing to do, but because I, I do paralyze him so much, I do hacks him a lot. I really want to have a nice, clean game. A really nice fun game that didn't involve so much hacks so let's kind of get into it because oh my god why is it glitching out i'm gonna just go over here because i have no idea why it does that josh's team is actually really freaking scary he's actually the only undefeated team left there's a couple teams with only one loss and of course we're sitting here with four and two only two losses um and i definitely think we have a shot to beat him but it's really it, it's, it's slim because josh is using a team of pokemon that he's never drafted before that he's never used before and Kudos to him, it's a really cool thing to do, especially in a competitive league like this, and he's finding success with it being, what, 7-0? So, 7-0 or, is he 7-0 or 6-0? 6-0, yeah, he's 6-0, my bad. So, yeah, I'm already, I'm already saying I lost the game, anyways. So, um, Josh's team is incredibly, incredibly threatening. Again, he hasn't used any of these Pokemon before, and uh, he has, I believe, two Pokemon, like the top 5 or something, or the top 6, 7 in kills, and that's his Battle Bomb Greninja and his Mega Heracross. And if you guys remember, we had Battle Bomb Greninja last season, and it put in so much work for us. So uh, I'm excited to see how Josh uh, takes a, well, use it against us, because obviously we have a really good, uh, I guess, understanding of how it works. But anyways, let's get into the team my opponent can bring. So my opponent has a team of Battle Bomb Greninja, Mega Heracross, Kartana, Alola Ninetales, Crocodile, Pyroar, and then, where is it? Oh my god, let's see if I can find this, do this easier. Then the Sand Slash Alolan, he's got Slowbro, Slurpuff, Tyrantrum, and Zatu. His Z users are Kartana and Battle Bomb Greninja. So, the Pokemon I expect him to bring. Definitely 100% the Battle Bomb Greninja is coming. I expect it to be Waterium Z, or potentially Specs, but I, I am, I'm leaning more towards Waterium Z. He's going to have Hydro Pump. He's going to have Dark Pulse. He's going to have Water Shuriken. These moves are 100%. Then, I could see him bring something like Spikes. I could see him bring something like U-Turn. Just the last move is pretty, uh, it's up to him. He could just do whatever he wants with that move, and he could be pretty free to hit everything on my team. Moving on, though, uh, and, the, oh, and the reason this thing is so good against me is because look at his stats, guys. Like, it's got 132 speed after getting a KO, and that means that he will outspeed my Darkrai, and uh, that's very, very threatening. So we can't let this thing get a KO because, like, spoilers, my Darkrai is not Scarfed. Anyways, Heracross this week is... Um, pretty also free to bring it's it's also one of the pokemon that's in top 10 kill leaders and i forgot to mention guys just go down in the comments below and let me know what uh you think i'm gonna bring this week against him you guys know my team you guys will see it uh up on the potential you guys will see my options uh when i go back um and also answer the common question today so yeah anyways so heracross is really against me it's insanely good against me you look at its stats 185 attack and this thing honestly doesn't want to go down from like psychics it doesn't want to take like, it's fine with taking any hit that's not a flying type hit. And even some flying type hits on the physical side, it's cool taking. So, this thing is definitely bringing close combat. It's definitely going to bring Pin Missile. I'm assuming it's going to bring Rock Blast, but it, it, I would be understand I would understand if it didn't. Um, Knock Off is another potential option, but I don't think it's happening. I think it's going to be more Earthquake or Rock Blast. Um, and then there's something like Substitute it could bring. Substitute is really good because his team also doesn't like to deal with Mega Heracross. And if I get a Choice Scarfed Mega Heracross in while his Mega Heracross is gone, then I am good to go. Um, yeah, anyways, so next up though, the Kartana, this is also, it, it came to all the mocks, I think it was a Choice Scarf set, uh, in all of them, if I'm mistaken, and the reason it was Scarfed was because, well, I mean, it's so quick, and if it does get, uh, if it does get off, like, any hits on me, then it can really start snowballing, um, if it is coming, it's gonna be Smart Strike, it's gonna be Leaf Blade, um, it'll probably be Knock Off or Night Slash, and I guess, like, a default came in the, in the mocks I did, so, yeah. Next up though, we have Alolan Ninetales. This is also going to be coming. I know for a fact it's going to be Snow Warning. It's either going to be like, like um, Light Clay. It's going to be um, Icy Rock if he brings the Alolan Sand Slash. Or it's going to be like Focus Sash or something like that. But it's going to have Veil for sure. It's going to have Blizzard or Freeze Dry. Probably Blizzard since my water type is, uh, well, still doesn't want to take a Blizzard. Then it's going to be Moonblast as well. I don't do really good against Fairy type. And then the last move, I don't know what it could be. I really don't. Um, it could be Encore. It could be Hypnosis. It could be Disable. I, I really don't know. It could be Foul Play even. So there's 
I really don't know, but uh, it's pretty fast, and getting a Veil for him is really useful, and it just the amount of sweepers he has on his team is insane, so yeah. Then there's the Crocodile. This I could see coming, I just don't think it'll be coming. If it does come, it's going to be either Defensive or Choice Scarf, and that's it, so I'll move on. The Pyroar, I don't see coming at all, even though it does a number to my team. It, it's just he has so many better options against me. Next up, though, the Sand Slash. This is definitely a possibility. Um, I think it's going to be, honestly, this or the Kartana, really. And if he does bring this, then it's going to be a Slush Rush Sweeper, um, because he has Hail, and he'll probably have, like, Ice Cold Crash, Iron Head, stuff like that. Then there's the Slowbro. Slowbro is really good, really good against me. Uh, one of the top six offensive water types. Don't at me. And, uh, yeah, look, it's, so this thing is really good against me. I think he could potentially be a Culberberry or a Assault Vest or even a, um, just a, like, a special defensive spread and then with, like, Leftovers or Rocky Helmet. And, um, it's, it's really good against me on terms of defense. And you look at what it can bring. And if it is an Assault Vest set, it'll be, like, Scald. It'll be, uh, Psy Shock. It'll be, like, uh, Ice Beam, and then probably like Fire Blast or something. So, and Fire Blast is there for the uh, Mawile. So it's, it's a really good set against me. It's pretty strong. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I do think the Assault Vest is the thing that's coming. So yeah, moving on though, there is the Slurpuff. And Slurpuff, again, is really scary. Um, if it is coming, I definitely assume it's going to be Citrus Berry with Unburden, of course, and uh, Play Rough. It's, whoops, not Play Nice. This, this Pokemon plays Rough. Uh, return. And then the uh, Drain Punch, and of course, it's going to have the Belly Drum. So that's what I'm assuming it's going to be. Uh, after the Unburden, it'll outspeed me. Ditto actually does not copy Unburden if it goes off. But if Unburden did not go off, so if he's at if he's at 51% and he hasn't proc'd his Citrus Berry, and I send in Ditto, and he's at plus 6, then I am 100% good to go to sweep him right there. And that's if he actually makes it so that Belly Drum won't pop his Citrus Berry. So we got to be very careful there. Then there is the Tyrantrum. Uh, this is a definite possible bring. It's a pretty good rocker against me, so uh, I'll put Stealth Rocks on the set, but it doesn't really want to take any Fairy-type hits, and uh, seeing as my Fairy-type is pretty damn good against this team, I, I, I think it's a pretty good bring too. Um, but it also is good defensively against me because outside of Mega Heracross and a bit of Kartana, Skullpeed just runs right through him, so I do think this thing might have uh, some ways to beat Skullpeed. So Earthquake is a possibility, Dragonfly or Outrage for sure, Maybe Dragon Dance, or maybe just like Head Smash or something if he wants to run the uh, the Rockhead set. And because honestly, my, my switch into Rockhead, they're non existent. Not to Rockhead, to Head Smash. They're just non existent. And then there's the Zatu. I don't see this thing coming. If it is coming, it's going to be Magic Balance. It'll be there just to get rid of uh, rocks. But uh, it, it'll, it'll go down to pretty much everything I bring. My team is very offensive this week. Anyways, guys, that is what I think he could potentially bring. Um, if I had to choose a particular six, I would say the Greninja, the Heracross, the Kartana, the Ninetales the Slurpuff, and the Tyranitar. So that's, not Tyranitar, the Tyrantrum. Those are the six I would think he would be bringing against me. Moving on though, uh, to our team. We have a team of Darkrai with Z-Moves, Mew, uh, Conkeldur, Skullpeed with Z-Moves, Delmize, Kurum, Gastrodon, Shuckle, uh, Dedo, Musharna, and uh, what is it called? Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. Mega Mawile, that's it. So I'm going to switch over to a new tab that has my uh, team in it. Anyways, here it is. Here's my team. So I'm gonna do a bit of live editing for you guys. Let's take off this. So Darkrai is our first Pokemon that we are bringing here. We have Sludge Bomb, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast, and Hidden Power Flying. We have Speed there for the Greninja before it battle bonds up, and uh, we have the IVs for Hidden Power Flying. Don't worry, we're at level 100, so I bottled capped the IVs on Showdown, and they're gonna be bottle capped in game two, um, just to make sure of that. Now, um, Sludge Bomb is there because he has a couple Fairy types, namely his Slurpuff and his. Uh, Nine, and his nine tails that don't want that are okay with taking dark pulses. I have, fo I have focus blast because basically his Greninja, his Tyrantrum, his Crocodile, his Pyroar, they they all like don't want to take focus blast and Z focus blast is there. Hidden power flying is there solely for the um, the Heracross. If he takes a round of rocks, then we should be able to ochre that thing 100% with hidden power flying. And then dark pulse is there because dark pulse is stab, dark pulse is good, and dark pulse should clean up this game. Moving on though, next up we have Bennett here. Our first time ever bringing the Delmize this week. Last week was the first time we brought Skullpeed. The week before was the first time we brought Shuckle. We've now brought all three of our new additions. The only Pokemon we haven't brought to this season is the Musharna, but it still is really good, and I'm hoping I can make use of a Trick Room Healing Wish set at some point this season. Anyways, we are a pretty iffy, weird, but not so weird set on Delmize. Basically, our spread is so that we are never KO'd from by Pin Missile after rocks from the Heracross, and we have Culberberry. It's there for knockoffs from the Heracross. It's there for Greninja's uh, Dark Pulse, whatever it is. We have Anchor Shot there for the Ninetales. Uh, Synthesis is there because we need to heal up some health. And basically, yeah, like we're never KO'd by Blizzard, which is great. And uh, Anchor Shot always KOs that thing. We have the rest in attack because I want to be able to do as much damage as possible to the Heracross. 
you would think that it really does a lot of damage to Heracross. It does like 60%. That's that's ridiculous. It is it is 60%. That's four times effective. It is 60%. Delmas has 131 attack. I do 60% with a four times effective move. That's insanity. Just I don't understand it. I don't understand it. How this thing is so bulky. It's not a tier two Pokemon. It's not. Just that's it. Moving on though to our next pick, we have our Conkeldur here, Scrappy. Oh no, no, we don't. We I ignore that. We have our Mew here. Yeah, ignore. Woo. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> we have our Mew here, Tails. Um, we are Vacuum Wave, Single Beam, Psychic, and Nasty Plots. Basically, our speed is there for the Crocodile because I can't guarantee that I won't need to Single Beam it. If I if I do have to Single Beam it, then I will, um, and I'll at speed. But if I have enough Nasty Plots up, then I will Vacuum Wave it. Or Culverberry again because I need to get basically the plus four to Oko the Gren with Vacuum Wave. And if we get the plus four with this thing, it's pretty much over. Like, there's nothing you can do to stop us because his team it, either it'll outslow Mew or it dies to Vacuum Wave. And that's just awesome. So, yeah, um, this set is really good against him. I just need to make sure that it kind of does better. And now I'm going to go to the next mod and hopefully it is Conkeldur. Please be Conkeldur. No, it's not. It's not Conkeldur. It's, it's Goggles, our Mega Mawile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Conkeldur is going to be the last one. Oh my god. Anyways, play rough, knockoff, sucker punch, and stealth rocks. Basically, we have a spread here so that we're never KO'd by Earthquake from the from Adamant Mega Heracross. That's why it's there. This is before Intimidate as well. So if we, let's say, let's say we leak some Mega Mawile is going to be my lead. Like, it's very likely that's going to be my lead because uh, Stealth Rock up against him is really good and he has nothing that wants to take a play rough. If he leaves Nine Tails, I just play rough it. I Oko it's turn one and. Yeah, or he switches up because he's scared of the Iron Head. But rocks are really important against him. His defoggers are pretty limited. So that's why I have my uh, my stealth rocks. But anyways, the uh, the Mawile has uh, has enough. It's just to make sure that I'm not Oko'd by Earthquake turn one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, player off is really good against him. Knockoff is all the coverage I need. And the Sucker Punch is there just in case I absolutely need some priority. Maybe he doesn't have HP left to go for a substitute on his hair cross and uh player and a sucker punch can oko him from there then i will go for sucker punch until he attacks maybe there is the um maybe there's the tarantrum and he has like two dragon dances up and i can't outspeed him with anything and my mew is gone with the priority so yeah i mean you gotta help me there figure out what i can do and sucker punch is the best option so yeah but anyways uh let's move on to our next mon here um i'm, I'm gonna say it's it's our ditto here i'm, I'm gonna say it is please do ditto Yay, it's Ditto. Anyways, <laughs> so we're a um, max, max HP, max defense spread, which really doesn't matter at all. All that matters is the max HP. We actually have the IVs for Hidden Power Flying. Just in case we transform to something with Hidden Power, I can fire off Hidden Power Flyings at the Mega Heracross, just to be safe. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much why we have our Ditto here. It's just really good to uh, transform into the Greninja. It's really good to transform with Cartana, to the Tyrantrum, to whatever it is. And uh, I kind of need to bring it this week. It's, it's like a must bring against his team. And then finally, we have Scrappy here. You guys know him. You guys love him. You guys saw him beforehand. That's my bad. Uh, so Scrappy is Assault Death this week. Again, Mock Punch, Fire Punch, Knock Off, and Drain Punch. This thing has like no kills. It's got a death in every single game we played, but it actually has played a very important role in every single game. And like honestly, by the end of the season, it's probably going to have more, it's, yeah, it's definitely going to have more kills than, more deaths than kills. And it's definitely going to be on like the quote unquote least valuable Pokemon member, but Picking up Conkeldur was one of the best ideas for my team, and I don't care that it has so many deaths. Uh, to me, I haven't played it the greatest, but I have played it pretty well in some matchups. It just hasn't gotten some necessary kills, and it, just having the priority in Mock Punch, having the ability to have really powerful knockoffs, it is just so useful. But anyways, so here we are. We have just a standard, pretty much max HP. We have a couple um, EVs in speed, just in case the Slowbro tries to creep us, just to be safe. Knockoff, Drain Punch, Fire Punch, Mock Punch. Fire Punch is there for the Heracross and the Kartana, even though Mock Punch, two Mock Punches should do the job. Uh, Mock Punch is there for priority, and Drain Punch is there for recovery. So yeah, um, this thing can take two hits from the Greninja if he isn't, um, like if it's just, I can take two Hydro Pumps basically from a Greninja that isn't a uh, Waterium Z or um, it, that isn't Battle Bonded yet. But anyways, guys, that's our team. We have TKO, Bennett, Scrappy, Tails, Nacho, and Goggles. And um, yeah, I mean, this is a very tough matchup. I, I don't know how we're going to be able to come away with a really big win. Basically, my option is if I can get set up with Mew, I will win. If I can get rid of the Greninja with whether it's my uh, Conkeldur's Mach Punch or my, um, let's say I live a hit with my uh, Mawile and Play Rough it, or even if I can get to... Uh, well, if I can bait him to go for the uh, Dark Pulse on my Delmice and fire off Power Whip and actually land it, then, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. It's going to be a very tough game for us, uh, but I will see you guys back here tomorrow with the battle. If you guys enjoyed this team builder, make sure to hit the like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.